EF1 tornado that touched down. I was here all through Sunday night, and I remember seeing the pictures of hundreds of trees down onto homes, onto cars, onto hydro lines. And I remember saying with Nadine on the air, this was possibly a tornado, and it, and it in fact was. Environment Canada confirmed it. One person was injured in the event. It was a nasty storm, but I know communities, especially in around Lake Huron, they are fast to recover, and people are working around the clock to help each neighbor out. So just how much rain did we see? It really depended on where you were. I know in around the Kitchener-Waterloo area, a good 70 millimeters of rain came down, close to 75 in Hamilton. Toronto at Pearson Airport didn't report that much, but Markham, 86 millimeters of rain. So what's our big story now? There's not a lot of heavy rain coming our way. It's all about our temperatures. At this time of year, if you like heat and humidity, you want to see reds on this map, but we just don't get that red. Temperatures stay cool, and we'll take a look at your specific temperatures this week coming up throughout the show. Environment Canada has confirmed that all of that damage you saw, trees toppled over onto cars and homes and hydro lines, that was caused by an EF1 tornado. Luckily, uh, there wasn't that extensive of damage where, you know, we're going to be talking about local state of emergency. Crews have really been working around the clock to get everyone back up online. I know at one point in time there were nearly 4,500 people in Grand Bend without power. But that's one of the biggest stories because that was earlier today. Environment Canada did confirm that tornado. Now, as far as thunderstorm potential is, concerned it's in northern Ontario today southern Ontario for tomorrow so if you're joining us from Toronto or Hamilton or Kitchener Waterloo or Guelph there is enough instability as we head through Tuesday and you'll see it here this red dashed line is what we call a trough it's just some instability in the air you can see the models picking up some scattered showers very scattered and maybe some lightning thunder associated with it these are not going to be big thunderstorms we have to really worry about but keep in mind you could run into some showers late afternoon and evening Hamilton your seven-day forecast looks like this and don't forget that as Windsor was hit pretty hard by our storms on Sunday night just not as hard as Grand Bend a lot of people suffering damages to their homes trees more than anything else were impacted uh, at least a hundred trees knocked over and many of them onto power lines and that led to power outages for about 4,500 people at one point in time but Environment Canada has confirmed that that was an EF1 tornado and we'll talk a little bit more about the weather we are expecting to see throughout the week but first let's check in with Mike Arsenault he has some great tips you should know about you know, Mike, I was just taking a look at some temperatures. Toronto hit about 21 degrees today. It was hotter than hell in Toronto because hell, Michigan was quite cool. It only hit 20 degrees. Yesterday, they were closer to 30, so it was cooler in hell, Michigan today than it was here in Toronto. Cool temperatures are going to be our big story as we head through the next several days. I'll talk about that coming up to pour down, depending on where you were. In Cambridge, river levels were running high and fast. Now, as far as active weather is concerned this week, there's not a big storm heading our way like we saw on Sunday night. However, there's still the potential for these isolated thunderstorms to pop up. So essentially through the day tomorrow, including the GTA toward Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph and up toward Cottage Country, our meteorologists believe that there's the right ingredients to maybe see these isolated thunderstorms popping up, but they're what we call the garden variety type thunder, lightning, some rain showers, and not everyone is going to see one. So watch as we head through the day tomorrow, specifically the afternoon and evening. You can see the computer models along this red dashed line, what we call a trough. It's just some instability. So it's picking up the potential for these showers. Not everyone will see the showers, not everyone will see a thunderstorm, but the potential is there, and it's mostly late afternoon through the evening. And you can see it's fairly unsettled in Barrie, the potential for showers, just not a lot of rain, and temperatures are cooler. Same thing in Toronto, we don't really start to warm up again until we head into the long weekend. Mark has certainly seen some crazy storms and wild winds, and luckily there's no real wild winds heading our way. We have a slight risk of an isolated shower, a thunder shower through the day on Tuesday, but our big story is just how cool we are. Daytime highs don't start to hit the mid-20s until the end of the week, and humidity will rise for the long weekend. I'll talk about that coming up, and next, Kim takes us around the world.